Genocide survivors have gone on record to state that French soldiers operating under Operation Tourquoise were actively shielding genocide perpetrators and allowing them to escape to what used to be Zaire. When I arrived at Rusizi, I saw some French soldiers and the first thing they asked me was whether I am Tutsi or Hutu. I told them that I am Tutsi and their reply was Tutsi, Nyarushishi, Hutu, Zaire. They then pointed in the direction I was to go towards because there were those who were going to what used to be Zaire while we were going to Nyarushishi. They clearly had instructions to send the Tutsi to Nyarushishi and the Hutu to Zaire. The Duclair report indicates that France played a serious role in the genocide against the Tutsi here in Rwanda, as well as in the run-up to the tragedy, but said that the country did not have criminal complicity in the matter. It has also helped to address a few other important points. La documentation française. French documentation indicates that the evidence was in all likelihood ignored by France's leadership at the time especially President François Mitterrand and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The documents clearly show that there was a plan for genocide, a plan to kill the Tutsi in 1990, 92 and 93. That has nothing to do with tribes turning against each other. It is therefore important to stress that French government archives clearly state that a genocide occurred and that it was perpetrated against the Tutsi. Also, the atrocities that took place have nothing to do with the RPF's offensive because they were committed in government-controlled areas. Genocide survivors also point out that French troops did nothing to help those who were being killed. To me, they acted like observers and did not even try to ensure safe passage for the Tutsi in the surrounding areas of Nyarushishi. For example, my grandmother had been left at Mutimas, hiding at the house of another old lady, a Hutu who had hidden her. My sisters-in-law in the camp of Nyarushishi were too afraid to go back and get her because the Nerahamne militia were roaming all around the area and killing people. The French did nothing to help the Tutsi in the camp to get others left behind. All they did was stand around doing nothing. I think they had been just ordered to remain there until further notice and that's it. They did nothing to save us or at least help us. Following the issuing of the Duclair report, Rwanda's government welcomed it, saying it was a step in the right direction and announcing that another report would soon be issued by Rwanda on the issue, complementing the Duclair report. Law experts believe both sides are doing the right thing. As lawyers, we see those reports as sources of information that enable us to better go after genocide suspects so that justice can be served and reconciliation can be possible because without justice, there can be no reconciliation or healing. Wanda's president has also commented on the issuing of the report and the significance of such evidence coming to light from all relevant sources. Rwanda will also have a word to say in the near future. In fact, it is maybe around the third week of this month. The findings we have in our hands, based on the work that has been done by people who are commissioned to do that, almost similar or parallel to what was being done in France. The findings go in the same direction. The important thing is to continue working together to document the truth. This is the truth. The Duclair Commission was formed back in 2019 and Rwanda's report is expected soon, possibly in the coming days, though we have been unable to acquire any official confirmation of this.